Hi, my name is Joseph Weeks from Stay By Boss, and today actually I'll be showing you how to make thumbnails like this one here. Thumbnails, you know, are one of the two ways by which you can create better visibility for your videos on YouTube. The first one being ranking and thumbnails being probably the second. With thumbnails in particular, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a higher click-through rate. What you're trying to do is you're trying to ensure that when people see your video, they want to click on it. And to do this, you have to have a number of features. One, it has to be exciting or intriguing or at least attractive. And the second factor is it has to be relevant to what people will want to listen to or what people are looking to hear about. So having said that, thumbnails are pretty important also. YouTube has this thing where when you create a thumbnail for your video, it looks at it to get particular features to see whether it's appropriate or it is actually desirable or meeting certain standards. But that is a whole different video. In this video, what I'm or in this tutorial, what I'm going to be talking to you about primarily is creating a thumbnail using PowerPoint. Now, PowerPoint, a lot of people will say, wow, that is really for presentations. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thumbnail one and then resize it so that it fits for what youtube requires because if it doesn't do that then when you load it up you're going to have an error and it will not work which you know happens quite a bit and youtube can get very very difficult about it but if you get the right dimensions and you get the right thumbnail then everything else is left to whether or not you have gotten the idea and the information right in regard to how you can get more people to put eyeballs or get eyeballs on your video so that said and done let's go and i'll show you how to use powerpoint for this depending on what version of powerpoint you have mine is the 2019 version and when you click on it you'll come to a screen that looks very much like this and what i do is i click on blank presentation and it takes me to this screen so the next thing i want to do is i want to change the background color and to do this i go to design and i go to format background and I, you see you have different ways you can have the gradient fill that looks like that picture pattern fill so you can you can you can do different things and what i do is i just go for the solid fill and with solid fill i have actually done it with this color if you remember the thumbnail i showed you now the next feature is i i believe i used how to make money teaching or was it capital letters i used i think i used capital letters so let, let's just make it capital letters caps lock make money teaching and then the next thing i do is i'll highlight this and obviously make it a lot bigger 96 not big enough let's make it a hundred and twenty mm, 150 i think right and then with this I highlight this and then i'll also put a background and that should be that and then i'll take this to 96 Maybe not big enough. I'll take this to 120. Okay, make money. And with this, I will change this to something different. What did I use? Aerial black. Now I think I use this. Yep. Okay. So now we have that and that. Okay. I think this might be a bit big because I'll refer it on one line. So I'll take that down to 100. And maybe make it bold. And maybe make it 90 or 70. 70. Right, spread it out a bit and make it a bit bigger. Yeah, okay. So you have these two here now. 
I need to put an image in and let me drag these left and let me drag this left as well. Centralize it a bit more. And then I need to insert an image. To do that, I insert a picture. I go to insert and then I do, if I have a picture on here, I'll do from this device. But if I want something that you never know, I'll go online. And PowerPoint has this feature, at least 2019 has this feature where you can get all kinds of different images and these are stock images from Bing. So I go for money and I see this lovely image. I click on that and you see I'm clicked for Creative Commons, which is pretty important because if you don't do that, when your video goes on YouTube, it will be flagged. And I'll do that, insert, and it puts in the image. You see, and I'll just resize it so that it fits onto the screen. I have this little challenge here. I'm just going to make that a little small and inconsequential. Get that out of the way. I think this needs to be pushed a bit more to this side and a bit more to this side. Maybe make this a bit smaller. And with that said and done, that is what the thumbnail will look like next feature is you need to save this and to save this what you do is you go to file select save us very importantly you change the format to jpeg you do that and then you save you hit save and this will prompt you to save this as just this one all slides are just this one i just use just this one and it saves it. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to resize it for YouTube. And for that, you have a number of options which are online. And what I do is I go to the page I use to actually resize the thumbnail because in the format in which it is, it will be a bit too large. The page I use or the pages I use are these. I'll put a link, I'll put a link down below for you and you can actually go to them. So one of them is called Re Image Resizer Online. And when you load up your image, it'll ask you to choose a file. You can then decide what you want to resize it for. And it's in, in this case, resize your YouTube video thumbnails for YouTube video thumbnails. And you can obviously adjust it accordingly. I'm not too fond of this because as you can see, you have to really ensure that it falls within these parameters and if it doesn't do that then it's not going to work but i mean that is because of the way i've created this particular thumbnail what i really prefer to use is this one is media.io and i'll put a link like i said below and what you do is you just load it up and you can put in the size for youtube which is 120 1280 by 720 and just hit the resize button and then you can download. So this is how it works and this is how you resize them for YouTube. So that is how you create the thumbnail and you resize it. I hope this has been helpful. Now, what you can do for me is you can use the features in, on YouTube. That is the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Yeah, I'd have them. Can you see my fingers? Yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on whichever one you think is worth using for this video. It's one of the videos I make regularly. And if you like this sort of videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this will tell the algorithm that you are interested in what I put forward and it'll put it out more for so more people can view it. And this will help me continue to make videos. So do this for me, please. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.